Hello. Hello. Uh, hello to everyone. Now we are starting our discussion on the topic life hack how to find your roots. My name is Ivan Kalinin. And, and my name is Yuri Taylor. This next slide. Uh, studying family history is a lot of work and an exciting journey into the world of your ancestors. Uh, one, on the one hand, you study history uh, at school and university. Uh, this is a history of uh, random events and key dates. On the other hand, uh, you will learn about your ancestors and what they did uh, in the past. There are quite a few lectures on certain aspects of genealogical research. Um, you can check in the internet how to build family tree, how to find your roots, how to work with birth records, uh, with uh, different uh, types of documents such as confession list, population census, and so on. Uh, here we decided to build an almost unprecedented uh, material to invite you on a so-called like, genealogical kitchen. Uh, to, uh, uh, now uh, we can drink some coffee together and to understand how every one of us can start to build your family tree. Uh, considering the modern trend toward uh, rapprochement uh, between content creators and audience, we uh, uh, try to uh, make uh, atmosphere of uh, a private uh, kitchen where we will start Elizabeth's family tree. Um, uh, because uh, knowing of uh, genealogy uh, not only gives you a cultural connection but also continuous and concretized involvement in a culture and country and a family. Please, next slide. Uh, this is our behind the scenes. Next slide. So this is idea of you will create your family history book. Next slide. Okay, now I've always been interested in the life of my uh, grandparents and uh, I I've often tried to understand uh, different process uh, that happened in my family when I was little and uh, uh, but I never realized that my family story goes much deeper than just my grandparents and uh, when I met Van Kalinin and we started going through my ancestry uh, I thought I wouldn't learn anything new I felt that some discoveries needed more time and effort and uh, but I was wrong Next slide. First, we decided to make a family tree. The beginning of any genealogical search is an interview. Without a questioning appeal to your relatives, you are unlikely to be able to advance in this study. Anticipating this, I asked Elizabeth in advance to notify her father, mother, grandmother, that we can call to them during our interview. First, we decided to make a family tree according to Elizabeth's own memories. Please, next slide. Uh, this is Esmite's family tree. But uh, it turned out uh, to be quite difficult. We just think we know the family history. In fact, um, when the questions are about the places of residence where our ancestors uh, were born, uh, maiden names, of women and so on. Yes, maiden name. So it's hardly to name a few. When it comes to a long departed relatives, we remember them only from random stories. Uh, this is how a family legend, a fairy tale, a tale is created. When 10 years ago, I myself began to study my ancestry, I had a poor idea of those whom I had not seen in my life. The parents of my grandparents, especially on the paternal side, please check. This is a 
fourth level, so parents of our grandparents. Uh, this is completely different. In some cases, my ancestors even deliberately distorted some names of their parents. Because of what? For example, to, uh, for Hyde parents uh, who were subjected to repression, you know, uh, mass murdering, Stalin period, revolution, and so on. So even if they know them, they try to hide them. So it's a different story. Next, next slide. So now we can see four generations. So it's me, my grandparents, and the grandparents of my grandparents. This is even harder work. This is you will must uh, find in archives and so on. Next slide. Uh, it's my family. It's my mother, father. It's my grandmother, father, grandmothers, uh, and my grandmother <laughs> and grandfather uh, of my mother. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, when we started building the tree, I realized I didn't remember uh, year of of my mother's birth, <laughs> and uh, I had to call, uh, call her. Uh, as it turned out, the family tree can be built uh, with the help of documents and uh, conversation. Uh, so, after talking on the phone with my mother, father and mother, Ivan and I were able to make a chain of my uh, an ancestor uh, until late 19th century. During the search, it turned out that many relatives of my father were born in the south of Kazakhstan, and my great-grandfather uh, was not actually called Georgi, his real name is Rashid. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, the history of my uh, uh, family on oh, the history of the family on my mother's side is connected with Novgorod and Poland. And one of my great grandmother is buried uh, in Kiev. Next slide. Mm. Imagine uh, we did a great interview. We simultaneously called to relatives and recorded information we found in a special program, Gemma Pro. This is, you must uh, know how to use this program. We searched for newly identified relatives in databases such as the Memory of People, Pamit Naroda, and Archives of St. Petersburg. Or just googled all surnames and names we find during interviews. After such a consultation, I usually have a real headache. Uh, uh, the meeting was no exception. It seemed to me that Elizabeth had the same problem. Next slide. Some family members communicate with relatives in Altai. Uh, this is a direct ancestors of uh, Elizabeth. So, uh, uh, parents of your parents of parents. So, uh, now we can see how deep she knows now, uh, just from interview, without using any uh, difficult archives. Uh, only from interview or a little bit googling, please. Um, uh, that is uh, how a bundle interview was formed. For example, some relatives of uh, uh, Elizabeth relatives gave us uh, family uh, uh, phone numbers and uh, then Elizabeth can call to them if she plans to do so. Um, then when all the possibilities of the interview have been exhausted, you need to contact the register office and archives. Next slide, please. Uh, this is a Pamit Neroda, this is uh, Archives of St. Petersburg, and there are a lot of sources you can check, you can Google all surnames, professions, uh, uh, places of birth and so on. And um, for example, for, uh, to find a record of the birth of Rashid Minbayev, uh, great grandfather, uh, in 1927 in Rubtsovsk, Elizabeth will, uh, with help of her grandmother, needs to contact a registered office, ZAX. Since 1926, all uh, documents of uh, Russian Federation uh, of Registration of Marriage, Births, Deaths and Divorce uh, are, mm, um, are in, in the single electronic database. To search the ancestors 
from other surnames, such as Matushin, Nikiforov, and the others, Elizabeth will contact the Central State Historical Archive with a big and very mm, difficult electronic email. And you will ask them, where are you? Uh, can you? Can you help me with, I know this story, can you uh, help me to increase the amount of my direct ancestors? Uh, this, next slide. Uh, this is the First World War heroes. So, anybody knows about your ancestors in First World War? Because now is popular the story of Second World War, but the First War is the other war where participated millions of our citizens. So, absolutely 100% you will have some ancestors in this database. But you don't know them, because firstly you must go uh, to organize the internet. Next slide. Okay, uh, uh, many of my relatives uh, partic uh, participated in the Great Patriotic War, uh, so I want to know more about their destiny and military uh, service. Uh, as Ivan says, it can be done through special sites, all the information uh, can be found in the state archives. Uh, in addition, during our research we found out that I have several other relatives who can tell me more about my ancestor ancestors I will definitely talk to them it's my great great grandfather uh, Leonid Matushin uh, and uh, it's my great grand great grandmother uh, her name is uh, Lydia 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 yes no. uh, <laughs> next slide uh, I have a great impression uh, of the meeting with Elizabeth. She has great chances to successfully compile an extensive, huge uh, family tree and establish contacts with a big number of relatives. She chose the best time for this because she is quite young. So she's, there are still many representatives of the elder, older generations around, they are alive now. So the best time to start your genealogy is now, only now. Drawing up a tree allows you to contact even distant relatives around the restored, so-called, we restore our family. Because uh, communications between uh, different generations, relatives are broken, you will restore them. This next slide. Uh, and uh, uh, it will be a very large family tree. The boss, you will be the boss, the boss of this family tree will be you because you restored this, you uh, made all those people to communicate with each other. And uh, you will find uh, 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 even friends or uh, this, this world like minded people business contacts and so on uh, i'm not uh, talking about how much educational developmental potential carries the study of genealogy thank you okay uh, <laughs> thank you uh, i want to tell why uh, to studying your ancestry school uh, firstly i learned that members of my family live in different parts of russia and other countries and uh, now, uh, when I uh, go to uh, maybe Kazakhstan or, <laughs> or Poland or, or Novgorod, I will feel that this place is, is somehow native to me because my ancestor once lived there. Secondly, stu uh, studying gen genealogy brings you closer to your relatives because you have to ask all members of your family about his uh, uh, childhood and uh, I give you example because I have really uh, bad contact with my grandmother from Novosibirsk and uh, when I called her and we start uh, talking about her childhood uh, I learned a lot a lot of interesting about about her and she was also interested in the mysteries of her family history uh, for all these things I have recently discovered, I want to say thanks to Ivan Kalin.
Yes. <laughs> and it's all. <laughs> yeah. Next slide. Thank you for attention. And uh, we can answer some call, call, uh, some questions. questions. And yes. uh, but if you have uh, just some time. Oh, okay. Okay. So, please, if you have some questions about your ancestors or how to start this process or about our lecture, please. Um, yeah. So, what would you recommend uh, in this particular situation of mine? I know pretty well about uh, my grandparents, about my great-grandparents, but whenever I started digging deeper, uh, there is always this persistent problem. Uh, they were Jewish citizens from Poland, and Poland only started recording Jewish citizens, I think, in the late 19th, 19th century. Before that, it was all mostly recorded in synagogues who were burned in uh, the Second World War. So there is not much documentation left. And I was wondering if it's possible to somehow recover it, so, or not. Hmm. I think this uh, question is uh, to me most, <laughs> <laughs> but I I if you if you know how to help. Um, no, I mean, I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, uh, so, so uh, um, I understand your question. Um, you did a great job because uh, Jewish ancestry is uh, quite difficult. I know because uh, my, my father, my grandmother has about 63% of Jewish ancestry but um, uh, one of uh, new one um, uh, tools to increase uh, information about your Jewish ancestry is to make DNA test you must uh, to organize a genetical uh, test of your um, older ancestors for example if your mother or grandmother is alive you must to do this and you will see some relatives uh, in, uh, in the in the list of uh, DNA matches. This is the one thing. Other thing, you must write to archives. You must use uh, internet uh, database such as Yad Vashem, uh, for yeah, example. Yeah. And uh, after all of this, you must to uh, look for your real life relatives. For example, third cousins, fourth cousins. You must find as much relatives on this line as you can. And they also can give you some family archives or make uh, pass through DNA tests or other things. So you can organize a big tree. But in, in, in the end of this uh, road, maybe you finally will not succeed. Because uh, Jewish genealogy is very complicated. And even one of the most strong genealogists in Russia, Igor Sakharov, he is uh, 92 years old. He is a leader of uh, Institute of Genealogy Research of Russian Public Library. Even him uh, knows his Jewish ancestry only until uh, 1780, not later. So uh, this is difficult, and uh, especially, the po especially in Poland. But uh, there are a lot of possibilities. Um, you must write a story of your uh, ancestors in um, uh, genealogical sites such as Vegade uh, and others. You must write as many stories as you can, and maybe one, two, three years, someone who will make the same same research will uh, devote to you. Yeah. Thank you for your experience. I think it's uh, in general very interesting because uh, I think in my current uh, personalized history. And around First World War, uh, when my great grandmother with her family was thrown away from Poland because of the soldiers who were sick with tuberculosis and because of the pandemic there. So, yeah, quite interesting. Thank you. I was considering some DNA testing later in life, but I have never thought about uh, asking, for example, my grandmother to participate. So, that's a great idea. Uh, yes, it's a bad idea to start with you. Mm -hmm. You must start with the uh, uh, oldest uh, generations because uh, amount of uh, uh, DNA they contains yeah. is four times bigger. Yeah, it makes so sense. It's, uh, it makes no sense. It, sometimes people don't understand this. Mm -hmm. First, uh, firstly, I started to organize my oldest uh, relatives. Unfortunately, now some of them are not alive, but I have their DNA test. So they help me in research and is a memory of them. But if I started with me and now decided to do the DNA test of my relatives, I, I couldn't do this. Yeah, 
find the photo of her relatives? Um, this is a very uh, difficult question because uh, um, normally archives uh, don't uh, uh, have uh, photos of ancestors. Yeah, I, I just interested on this uh, oh. thing and uh, my uh, uh, granddad uh, <laughs> result, uh, we haven't photo of him and can find it. No, you must uh, build as big family tree as you can. You must uh, find uh, if uh, he had a sister, brother, and other close to family members, and to find their uh, descendants. So, if they have uh, the picture of family with uh, your direct ancestor, you can find them. For example, my grandmother's father uh, uh, was killed uh, during the repressions and all his photos uh, were deleted from our family archives but I found um, uh, half a year ago I found uh, um, his brother's descendants uh, who had uh, his uh, picture with my grandmother uh, on the knees and uh, now I have his uh, face in my collection of my ancestors uh, finally so um, all you can do is to find as much and uh, the uh, relatives as you can and check all their family archive um, and second possibility if you speak about 20th century you must find um, the, uh, their documents from the job for example if someone worked or, or studied at university we have some folder with uh, uh, their pictures so you you can find the picture of student even in the Tsar time, uh, before revolution, uh, I know the pictures uh, of my relatives, of some of my relatives, only uh, because of they uh, studied in university in St. Petersburg or in Moscow. So there are some photos with uh, pictures. But if your relatives didn't study in university, um, this possibility is not available. Okay, thank you. Maybe some difficult uh, uh, question. Uh, anybody started to find the, the roots? How how it was? Maybe other experiences? Uh, it's very hard <laughs> for me, especially because uh, my roots are um, very <laughs> well spread. <laughs> uh, like uh, my great uh, grandparents, uh, they. Uh, left uh, Belarus and they left Russia because of the World War II and uh, they uh, lived uh, in Kyrgyzstan and uh, my grandmother now lived uh, uh, lives in Kyrgyzstan but uh, my mother left Kyrgyzstan and <laughs> uh, go back to Russia uh, so uh, I can't uh, find my roots because uh, um, my relatives uh, um, uh, they, uh, their names uh, in different uh, archives uh, of different countries, uh, so uh, I can't uh, find the country. Yes, uh, it's a difficult uh, situation. You must mm, to uh, compile this chain. You must go step by step. Uh, and Central Asian archives are, are not well working, but. Uh, if you will uh, uh, use as much time as you can, uh, you will succeed, especially uh, with much information. For example, my father was born in uh, Kazakhstan in uh, a military city where nuclear weapon, uh, weapon uh, was invented. So um, I received his uh, birth certificate from Kazakhstan. Uh, but uh, there are some problems with uh, people who lived uh, sometimes in one place, another time in another place. It's very difficult, but uh, I can uh, only 
um, say to you that with DNA test, maybe you will receive some match with some people who stayed in Belarus, who didn't uh, came to Kyrgyzstan, then to Russia back, and so you must check Belarusian archives and maybe you will match with somebody who now lives in uh, Spain, for example, uh, and uh, the, their relatives uh, uh, came from Belarus to Poland in uh, 1919, and they, in, during the Second World War, they came to Spain, so they changed uh, changed country several times like your but DNA they can't change the DNA it's something inside our uh, uh, DNA so uh, maybe this is uh, some possibility to do but uh, usually you must to ask uh, uh, Kazakhstan archives there are also specialists in genealogy in Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan so you must uh, pass through this way um, it's funny thing that uh, I know that uh, uh, the cousin of my grandmother, uh, she left Belarus also <laughs> for Murmansk and uh, she lives uh, here, uh, there uh, now, so um, my relatives are very um, like to move <laughs> uh, countries, yes. from countries. <laughs> yes, for example, my relatives, I'm, um, um, my relatives uh, came to St. Petersburg in, in uh, 1703, uh, so just from uh, the start of the city, from one line. Mm -hmm. And other relatives came to the St. Petersburg in 18th century, 19th century, 20th century. <laughs> so if I uh, check my genealogy, I will see all nations, uh, regions, etc. But this is what makes our genealogy, uh, geneal genealogy interesting. Yes? Uh, there are many uh, 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 ancestors from many regions. So you can check what my ancestors did in 19th century, what my ancestors did in 18th century. If you will pass through this difficult way in Central Asia, in Kyrgyzstan, you will see uh, Belarusian uh, cities or villages, I don't know about uh, their... Um, uh, and uh, maybe in Belarus they stayed about one, two, three centuries, so you will succeed. But you must pass through 20, uh, 20th century. In 19th century, and then will be much easier way. Okay, thank you. Okay. So I have the related situation, but I, uh, especially from Kyrgyzstan, I live, mm -hmm. <laughs> was born uh, in this country. So I have question about the um, the programs like Жди uh, меня or Ищу человека are truly help to people who wants to under so, to understand uh, who was uh, him ancestors. Um, I think they are real. I think they do their job, uh, but the amount of people uh, to whom they can help is very small. So, uh, uh, one of the uh, managers of this program, uh, Vitaly Semyonov, now is the most famous uh, Russian uh, genealogist and uh, works uh, in his own com company, like businessman. So, I think uh, in those programs they make a good job, but uh, with a small amount of people who can help. You can write them, you can ask them for help, and they will do, if, you, if it will be interesting for them, journalistic the media program so if it's not interesting for them I don't think they will help so but it's, it, it is one of the oldest mm, uh, methods of, of uh, mm. genealogical research now there are a lot of a lot of with uh, uh, neuroscience with uh, IT development you can uh, uh, look for other possibilities and maybe they are more modern and uh, helpful to you thanks Are you planning uh, to expand of your knowledge? Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, are you planning to expand of your knowledge of family history? Uh, it was really interesting when we started to work with Ivan, and uh, uh, my family started to uh, tr uh, try to find uh, some uh, some interesting. Uh, 
I think, uh, for example, quarter, uh, which we uh, show you. And my father every day to talk with my grandmother and tell me, tell me, <laughs> your great grandfather, why you don't, don't, uh, tell me, please, no, try to try to find some documents, why you don't do it? <laughs> but she, I don't know why, but she, she is really old. Uh, human uh, woman and she she don't wanna she don't wanna to to do it and my father what what you when you leave me what you uh, leave. Leave. what you leave what you leave me what I what do I inherit maybe okay yes yes but I, because I really I know a lot of things about my uh, mother uh, relatives, mother's le relative, but I really know nothing about uh, father relatives. And when we start to talk, I wanted to talk about mother's uh, relatives, and it was uh, really uh, yes. For next, ex next, next, next. for example, this photo, it's no, yes. Oh. It's my mother's uh, relatives uh, and, fathers, and and fathers, yes. And uh, for example, my grand uh, grandfather, uh, he really he wrote a big uh, notebook where uh, where we can uh, uh, big note. <laughs> okay, enough. Uh, and uh, wrote uh, a lot of history about our family and about his uh, parents and it's uh, really helped us when we start to uh, uh, research and uh, find something and uh, it's really good because uh, it's really interesting in one of uh, the photo he wrote that uh, it's uh, Lydia he really liked to dance Yes, it's really small information about my uh, my uh, my great grandparents, but it's it's really cool, I think. And uh, when when I when I just uh, to uh, when I don't uh, uh, thought about it, I just see a photo on monument in cemetery <laughs> of these people. But now I know that this person loved dance when she was young and it's really cool i think uh so yes i want to continue uh this and uh i, I think it uh, will be really cool so very excited about <laughs> 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 so Ivan, how long are you studying your family tree and uh, why do you this, this question uh, was made in uh, my uh, last lecture. No? Uh, but uh, they don't know? Ah, yes. I do it uh, about uh, 10 years. Uh, um, and uh, <laughs> and, I, and uh, yes, I, I became a little bit crazy on this topic. Uh, um, even in the, uh, in the firm where I'm working, uh, this firm is uh, the Institute of Genealogy and Heraldry. So I work in this uh, company, but even in this uh, company, they think I'm a little bit crazy on <laughs> look, imagine how it can be. So I do something on my genealogy every day. <laughs> so it's, uh, and, uh, and because of this, I decided to, to work in such a company just to explain to others why I do this. Uh, but uh, it transferred, tra transformed my understanding of uh, the history in common, not only my history, now I, d I can understand uh, uh, different parts and uh, different conflicts. Uh, uh, different. I have my own opinion based on the histor uh, historical uh, uh, sources on several topics. And uh, sometimes it completely changed from my previous life. And um, so I, I use the information, I use those contacts uh, during my life. I have a lot of friends from relatives. And uh, yeah, other parts of your question was why I started to do this. Uh, just uh, I'm only one uh, 
uh, child in a family. My parents divorced uh, when I was three years old, so I had not uh, un any understanding of uh, my ancestors. Some something my parents or grandparents said to me, but without um, precise information, the date, the place where they lived. So just your great grand your grand great grandparent made a sausage. <laughs> and because of this, you like sausage. Okay. And uh, other, uh, your grandparents was the captain of Aurora ship. Okay. Who, how, <laughs> when, uh, how name of Kitkin. Kitkin, Aurora name, nothing, nothing else. But even some information uh, was hidden from them. So they couldn't explain me what they didn't know. So I, I, when I started my genealogy, I told to my parents, no, it wasn't correct. And they said to me, wow, how ca can it be? It's unbelievable about their uh, grandparents. So for me, it's uh, something uh, uh, that gives me um, self-esteem. <laughs> self-esteem, <laughs> yes. Okay, and how many ancestors do you have right now? About 700 direct ancestors. So parents of the parents of my grandparents. I, now I have about 700. Mm. Uh, my dream is to have 1,000 <laughs> direct ancestors. Uh, so the zeros uh, uh, go uh, to some other? Yes, uh, this is uh, parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, second great-grandparents, and then, and then uh, some some lines I know much. Some lines, unfortunately, without of because of bad uh, conditions of archives, I don't know uh, very good. But I try to expand uh, more. But the best thing you all must do to know the grandparents of all your grandparents. So you must know all your second great grandparents. This will uh, say. To me, for example, that you know your ancestors. It's enough, not much. But it's difficult to know all of them, because some of them hidden, some of them uh, uh, disappeared, and so on. So it's very difficult to know all of them. I know almost all, but not all these pictures, not all these photos, mm, but almost all. So what's the oldest relative who you know? Uh, because some my uh, people uh, is de are devoted, some my ancestors devoted to Russian nobility. I know some lines that pretended uh, to came from Vikings. <laughs> so uh, we uh, some friends of Rurik. Uh, so <laughs> it's about uh, one thousand years ago. But uh, this is uh, ca can't be checked uh, scientifically. But uh, almost all of us can find our ancestors lived in uh, 18th or 17th century. All of us can find them. I know some relatives, ancestors deeper because of uh, they were merchants, citizens of some old cities or nobles, but uh, almost uh, all of us can find 18th and 17th century. Because uh, when you mentioned uh, divorce, um, I come from a very similar situation. My parents got divorced when I was four, and I just ju just uh, very similar to you. I only knew about like uh, family legends for a long time, and when I started checking and doing work, I was like, okay, but basically it was abuse in Siberia. What's wrong? And then it turned out that uh, there is a long history of repression and lots of fame in general. And when I was trying to investigate my older relatives, they were all very closed off about it. So I had to rely mainly on the information that was available to me through internet archives and things like that. And sometimes family albums when they were in the movement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This so, is a, yeah. So, what, have you ever met any psychological Yes, all our relatives can oppose to our decision to uh, build uh, the family tree. Mm -hmm. Because 
now you started to build something new when you change your character it's uh, it can uh, affect others for example if you are shy you're a hidden person and now you became very uh, active and funny person it's ch it changes something and maybe you will lose some friends and some connection because they uh, had uh, they contacted with you like with one person and now they see other person so psychological change means uh, change of relationship with others yeah but uh, some of uh, relatives have some secrets uh, some um, better relationships with your parents and uh, during years decades of years you um, they had bad connections so i try to restore this for example if someone have bad communication with others uh, because they badly separated common flat apartment yeah and they have some financial problems together or some lawsuits uh, so you can tell to them please stop speak about this look our family tree uh, goes to 18th century this for 18th century is nothing your stupid uh, uh, conversation on a small amount of uh, something that now doesn't exist so look from a uh, universe perspective on your on your life you can see uh, like uh, to see from bird eye on your uh, life so sometimes uh, family history can um, help with your normal relationship with parents, grandparents. Uh, use this tool and maybe you will uh, receive much more love and uh, uh, communi good communication with your closest ones, uh, the closest relatives. Uh, did you have any funny situations during your research? Uh, of course. Uh, one of them is now, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, of course, uh, we had some funny situations during our... Uh, about, about my great-grandfather, Grigory. Not only Rashid, <laughs> but others. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know what can be more uh, laughing than yeah. it. Um, uh, video dancing skills. <laughs> yes. Um, when we research the life of somebody, we can understand all was inside this life so in, in our life there are some funny moments uh, some uh, bad moments some uh, critical moments so of course i found a lot of funny uh, things in um, genealogy and there is a special genealogical humor uh, we have uh, sometimes it's kind of black humor <laughs> because we are working with death records with war records so is a uh, not not, not um, normal humor uh, but uh, for example uh, I, I don't remember what kind of humor you mean you mean some funny situations uh, you uh, you reveal from uh, from the history of your family so for example uh, for example, uh, you have a grandfather, but he is not really a grandfather. Yes, yes. Uh, he, he is not native to you, but you thought that he was native. Uh, for, for example, my, my father's grandmother, uh, his name is Lydia as well. Uh, some uh, relatives said she was Chambelan or helper of last imperatrix of Russia. But others said that she worked in a beer kiosk. She was uh, just worked with beer. And these are different uh, persons. One in the Winter Palace and others working with the beer, with uh, uh, workers of some uh, uh, fabric. So there are different uh, possibilities. And uh, I found that uh, she was a daughter of worker on Putilov, now Kirov uh, um, factory. Yes, thanks. So it's completely different, but uh, sometimes family legends can transform because each generation adds to the legend something from its own. So uh, in two, three, four uh, generations, you will receive completely different story, absolutely different. So it's funny to 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 make the chain of uh, additions. Uh, to the family legend and uh, finally find the truth.
It's funny. And I remember you told us uh, that uh, you thought that one of the persons was your grandfather. Yes. Uh, or, or, yes, grandfather, but then you understood that he wasn't your grandfather. Yes, uh, yes absolutely. You mean about uh, DNA testing. So you, uh, you using uh, DNA tools, you can check sci scientifically all your ancestors if they really were your ancestors because if, because if somebody told that your great-grandfather is your grandfather it doesn't mean 100% that it's true <laughs> no? so using some DNA tools you can uh, confirm all this blood relationship for example uh, one of my great-grandfathers now I don't know him but I found that uh, it was not person I uh, previously know uh, but uh, you, you can do it uh, asking your relatives to make same D same DNA test and compare your DNA with DNA of your relatives if there is no relationship something is wrong something is wrong with grand grandfather <laughs> Can say, or, or you want, you want to ask, please ask. Yo, uh, no, 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 I was just wondering about my close classmate, but she's not with us. <laughs> she's just as a computer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was asking her, do you know where she lives? <laughs> and we can say thank you to these people. And you see, it's just for all your relatives. Oh, thank you. See, you. not for all. Like I, I will buy some more boxes okay. of chocolate for your relatives. Thank and you. And now it's enough for leavers. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was really very interesting. Thank you. Like to invite people to a lecture, as far as I remember. What lecture? Ah, right. Russian <laughs> library. Library. Yes. Ah, ну девятого числа будет лекция в публичной библиотеке, посвященная генетической генеалогии. Туда приют специалисты вот очень высокого уровня из интересных мест. Ну там такая научная, ну там вход свободный. Ну да, самые известные из генеалогии приедут обсуждать, что типа генетика дает в родословной. Так что, если вам интересно, прийти туда, может быть, взять какой-то материал на эту тему, потому что там, так сказать, самый-самый тренд вот того, что сейчас развивается в науке на эту тему. А во сколько это примерно? 